Hello, I'm Stephen Mayu, and you're watching The Best JS. In this video series, I'm going over the basics of Node.js using the Node School curriculum, Learn Ya Node. It's a command line interface, um, self like taught tutorial and it's pretty cool. So in the last video I introduced um, like this series and what we're doing and how to get set up and running and we did the the most basic type of program we printed hello world to the console and now we're going to do a, a bit more um, um, a, a bit more challenging but still quite easy and we're going to work with a special environment global variables that are available to us in a node.js environment so anyway we're on the second challenge baby steps and by the way uh, in the last video i called the first one baby steps but that should be hello world so this challenge the second one this one is called baby steps so if you haven't already done so please pause the video and read the hints. I'm not gonna read the hints to you uh, during this video, uh, so just stop right now and when you finish, then come back. Okay, so you read the hints, wonderful, good for you, and we need to write a program that accepts one or more numbers as command line arguments and print the sum to the console. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, so now I'm going to open a and create a new file. So O2, and this one is called baby steps.js. And uh, remember that we have the, uh, the special process.argv. Um, process. The ARGV, this is uh, like a, uh, an, uh, basically an array of strings, and they give us information uh, about our node application. So uh, anyway, I believe the first element of that array is like node. The second element is like the path of the application, uh, where it is like physically located. And then uh, the third element, and for the rest of them in that array, is like command line arguments. So we can access the first command line argument by using bracket notation and, and a two, um, but if we wanted to get all of the command line arguments, uh, we can just call slice. This is an array after all, so we can call slice, put in an argument of two, so it'll start at index two and then select everything till the end of the array. And this is uh, an array of numbers, so let's store it in a, uh, in a variable called numbers, so const numbers. Uh, and by the way, I will be using ES6 syntax in this video series. Uh, const is just a new type of variable. You declare it and assign it a value one time, and it can never change. It is constant, never changes. So um, I don't anticipate changing this, so I'm just going to give it a const keyword and not a var or let. So anyway, uh, let's use the reduce method uh, to add up the uh, sum of the numbers in this const array. So <clears throat> let's put it in a new uh, variable. We'll call it const result, and that will be numbers.reduce. And uh, instead of giving it the old like regular ES5 function where it looks like this, we're going to give it a fat arrow function instead. So let's get rid of the function keyword. Okay, uh, we're going to give it two arguments, the accumulator and the current number that we're iterating on. And then we need a fat arrow, hence fat arrow function. Okay, and uh, everything else is the same. We just used a fat arrow function and we are going to return the current accumulator and the current number that we're on. And I'm gonna just explicitly set the accumulator to zero. Why? Because each number uh, in this numbers array is actually a string. So, you know, if we save this and if we verify it, oops, I don't wanna verify tests, I wanna verify O2 baby steps, it is going to fail because well uh, these these are strings and uh, we need to we need to make it numbers like integers so let's just add a plus sign right here let's do it one more time let's verify it and sure enough whoops that didn't work <laughs> uh, one second let's just go back to the code right here so we got cons number process uh, argv yeah that looks good numbers yeah, reduce accumulator number, return accumulator, 
plus the number. Huh, that should work. So I'm gonna, oh wait, guys, this is totally fine. I just forgot to log it to the console. Whoops, so console.log result and let's try it again one more time. Okay, there we go, good. So um, that pass. Now what's important is you gotta put like a plus right here because if I take that out and if I run it, um, it's going to return a string, and um, and this is obviously not what we want. So you got to put the plus right here, or you can wrap the whole thing in number, and that will also work. So if we run it again, sure enough, there we go. Um, and that's the way they did it, and they used a for loop, but we're better than that because we used the reduce method, which is my favorite method. Okay, so that's enough of that. In the next video, we are going to the third challenge. Let's go ahead and pull that up um, right here. There we go. And it is going to be my first I.O. Oh, awesome. We're going to read from the from the disc, we're gonna read files and stuff. It's gonna be so much fun. Okay, so stop right here, get a glass of water, and uh, I will see you in the next video. Okay, bye-bye. Boop.